on this episode of The Soul Farm Shop. Today we're cranking up the excitement. Back to the dyno for a second run, we're pushing the limits. And with the mighty draggy in tow, we'll measure our times in the eighth and the quarter mile. Join us for an adrenaline fuel episode you won't want to miss. This old farm shop, where horsepower comes alive. Subscribe and follow us for more incredible automotive adventures. Here we are back at Scarlet's Performance. For this is our second trip to the dyno. So on this trip, we're testing all the new parts we put on. So last time I was here at the dyno, we were able to max out at 293 horsepower at 348 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, on this trip to the dyno, we've spent quite a bit of money, and hopefully we'll get to see some pretty good horsepower numbers, torque numbers, for all the money we spent. Okay, so this time we've upgraded our heads to AFR 205 heads, Comp Cam's XFI camshaft. Now we're at 42 pound injectors. We've got the 190 liter per hour fuel pump, a big dog's ported Cobra intake. Uh, we've ported the 351 conversion BBK shorty headers. We've gone and installed the Pro-M EFI computer system, Pro-M 80 mass air meter, Anderson power pipe. We've got a Tremec TKX transmission, aluminum drive shaft. We've done the contour fans. In the exhaust system, we have changed over to the Flowmaster 50 series Delta. All right, let's get this thing on the dyno and see if we can make some more horsepower. So we did four runs. He was a little concerned about the AFR gauge there on a couple of the runs and he cut short. But as it turns out, we did a little logging trip on the computer there and everything was fine. It just, he, I guess the gauge may have been lagging or something that just made him uncomfortable where he let out of it. So we did four runs and the fifth run, we took it all the way to 6250, which is where I have the rev limiter set. And our max horsepower was 345.87. Max torque was 376.63. So there you go, guys. All this work netted me about 50 horsepower, almost exactly 50 horsepower, and about 30 foot pounds of torque. Thanks to Scarlet's Performance for helping me to pick out the heads for this build, and thanks to Big Dogs Porting for porting the Cobra intake. I was really hoping for 400 rear wheel horsepower, but 345 is not bad. He said to also keep in mind that this dyno is a the giant steel drum. It's not a digital dyno or whatever. It's going to show a little lower than some of these Mustang dynos or the ones that are digitally converted. So it could be possible to see a little more horsepower on a different dyno. <laughs> pretty much useless in first and second gears. 60 foot times on the street, about 2.38 seconds. Now I know that's, you know, drag strip obviously is the only place you're really gonna see less than two seconds. Even using the Pro-Ems traction control, it's still just spinning like crazy. But one thing I've noticed about Pro-Ems traction control is there's a little dead spot there in first gear when you're first starting off. Of course the wheels are gonna spin, but it just kills the motor a little too much and there may be a way to tune that in the computer itself, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So I'm gonna play with that a little bit more and see if I can figure that out. Who can be mad at 50 more horsepower, right? I mean, I was hoping for 400 at the rear wheels, but we got 400 at the crank. So at least there's a 400 in there somewhere. I appreciate you walking this journey with me, playing with the Fox Body Mustang, and uh, we'll just keep going. We'll just see where it takes us. I've got new parts sitting in the shop at home. Uh, we're gonna start on that this weekend. I've got some wheels from Maker's Garage, some nice wide tires to go on the back, some sticky rubber. Got the 05 Cobra differential to go in the back. Hopefully give me a little more traction with some 31 spline axles for strength. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the five lug conversion at the same time. So those videos will be coming out. And I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and like the video to help out the channel. And thanks you guys for watching. You have a great day.